Antero Reservoir is in Park County, just about 70 miles southwest of downtown Denver. It's in a high elevated basin called South Park. It hit negative 48 degrees there twice this week. So how did it get that cold in the first place? The coldest air slides down the slopes of the surrounding mountain ranges. The colder the air, the heavier it is. The coldest air settles down into South Park. This is called cold air drainage. Cloud cover holds in some heat. When skies are clear at night, that heat can rise in the space, dropping the temperatures even further. This is called radiational cooling. South Park is famous for this, and it's the real key to its insanely low temperatures. So why was there such a wide range of temperatures across that small area? The negative 9 degree temp in Fairplay was a 39 degree difference from Antero Reservoir just 20 miles away. With all that cold air settling down low, it set up a steep inversion. That's when the warm air is above the cold air. Fairplay is 1,000 feet higher than Antero, so the air was much warmer up there. But look at that temperature of negative 29 degrees at nearby 11 Mile Reservoir, which is about the same elevation as Antero. Slight differences in the surrounding terrain create something called microclimates. That is what's behind the temperature difference there. The key to having a really cold pocket of negative 48 degree air is for there to be no wind. Just the slightest breeze can mix in some warmer air. Antero is completely surrounded by flat plains, which lends itself better to having the air completely still. 11 Mile Reservoir is right up against the hills where little air currents can spread the cold air around and mix in some slightly warmer temps. That's how it got up to a toasty negative 29 degrees while nearby Antero Reservoir stayed at negative 48. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.